Last night, the developers of Funky Friday did post another leak in the form of a picture. We're going to be diving deeper into it because there might actually be some secret meanings behind this picture. And I was also able to discover a secret asset that might be uncovered by this picture, which is going to be really interesting. So make sure you guys smack the like so more people know about the leak. This wasn't posted on the like channel or anything like that. So make sure you guys smack the like, subscribe, you start code attack. Let's dive right into it. So Lego posted this picture picture leak around 7 30 p.m last night and at first glance it doesn't look like much it's just a portrait picture of tricky without any hair he's also holding a microphone by the looks of it as well and the portrait was also labeled with some guy with an arrow pointing towards tricky's head as well so it doesn't look like much at first but if you dive deeper we'll definitely start to pick up some important details first of all if you look at the some guy reference with an arrow pointing towards tricky's head it makes you wonder why they did this. Is there like a secret meaning behind it? We gotta think like detectives on this one if you wanna try to pull up some more information from this. I think that this some guy reference with the arrow pointing towards Tricky said is gonna be a misleading clue. I don't think it plays any significant role in this leak here. Now, one thing that does stand out is that Tricky has no hair in this picture. He always has his orange hair, but in this pictured leak, he's actually completely bald in this one, which honestly raises some concerns and also raises some questions too. Why why is Tricky bald in this leak picture? It makes you wonder. Also, if we look even closer on the microphone that Tricky is holding, we can see that, you know, there's like a cross right on the tip of the microphone. There's like a little handlebar right there too. But if we replace this picture with maybe one of the characters from Madness Combat, for example, you guys can definitely see the similarity between it. It kind of looks like one of those characters from the Madness Combat series, like not gonna lie at all. And they have used these characters very extensively in some FNF mods such as Versus Grunt for example, where you're actually going up against a Madness Combat Grunt that is shaped just like that. So, this could actually be a very subtle and a very, very secret meaning behind maybe Versus Grunt coming to Roblox Funky Friday at some point. It could be a very secret sign of that. Like, I could definitely see that happening. And honestly, especially if we couple this together with the new Nevada background that's going to be coming into the game. They did leak that in the previous leak with the QT animation. It makes a lot more sense if they added in, like, Versus Grunt along with the QT mod as well. It definitely makes a lot more sense from that. Now, is this going to be... 100% confirmed? No, we're just doing assumptions here, but this would be a very valid assumption to make. Now going deeper into the leak, part two is going to be more of a secret thing that I bet a lot of people didn't know about, but if you look behind the painting, you guys are going to see a gray brick walled asset and texture behind the painting. If you guys look around the map and also in the new playable background stages as well, you guys can notice this texture is nowhere around the map. You can look as hard as you can. You will not find this gray textured asset anywhere around the map or any of the map playable backgrounds. The closest thing to this texture is going to be the bulletin board that is inside the Miko Borga restaurant. It's going to be orange. It's, it's going to be in a different brick style shape as well so it's not going to be the same exact thing but this is the closest thing that we have to the leak background texture which brings one or two possibilities one they could actually be remodeling the restaurant where there might be like changing the bulletin board and stuff like that maybe even add some new stuff to the restaurant you never know that could definitely be a possibility and they could also add in the poster inside the restaurant while changing the bulletin board, while changing up the style a bit, just to make it a little bit more cleaner. Because the restaurant at the moment looks good, but it's a bit vacant at the moment. They did Jeez. add Java into the restaurant actually a couple updates ago. I noticed that when I was doing that skit video, which is really cool. They have been tinkering with the restaurant lately, especially by adding Java right next to the imposter sus cook. So yeah, it's gonna be pretty crazy if they actually do end up adding more stuff to the restaurant or anything like that, or even changing it around too, making it more stylish and stuff. Or Option number two, we might be getting a new building or they might actually be renovating some of the vacant buildings in the map as well by adding this new poster board, adding this new texture, maybe adding in some more posters regarding like mods and stuff like that. That could also be a possibility too, though I think option number one has a higher chance because as we said before, we have seen them change the restaurant quite a bit, especially with the addition of the Java model and stuff like that. So we know for a fact that 
they have been changing some stuff in the in the restaurant. And honestly, it really makes you wonder if they're actually going to be adding in maybe more stuff into the restaurant in the future. You never know. That would be pretty cool. But what do you guys think about it? Do you think this poster has even more of a deeper meaning to it? Let me know in the comments down below. Let's get a discussion going on about it. Don't forget to smack the like so more people know about the league. Subscribe. Use star code attack. And we'll see you later.